In this session, we're going to have a look at how you would edit the group details within CRM Haven. Now, just to remind you what the group details are or the effect that they have, let's open up, double click and open up a particular record. It doesn't matter which one because it'll, the same group information comes up. Now, depending on the group that the, that the client uh, belongs to, in this case it's group number three, which has got the name demo group, then certain values show up under different fields. So for example, under the states it has all of the UK counties, it has all the American states, it even has Australian states. Under things like the regions, it has uh, the different uh, UK regions and uh, generic regions. We have sub-regions. You'll see there's even dividers between a, a, a horizontal line uh, dividing uh, different items down here. We have employees, apprentices, turnovers, things like that. Now, you may decide that uh, for your purposes, you don't like to uh, categorize things in, uh, in the ways that are set by default or you may go look I don't want all of the different UK and Australian postcode uh, counties showing up I just want uh, all the US ones or I just want a few of them showing up that sort of thing that is where the uh, editing the group details uh, becomes uh, important also when we come down here into personal and uh, we get to choose things like the types all of these ones with the um, uh, magnifying glass the choices that show up on the right hand side are, are all uh, selectable by the user based on a particular group so how do we change it? The way that we change it is we click on the options menu down here and choose edit group details. Now what it's going to do is go off and uh, show up the, the database window. The same as if we had clicked on the window menu, chosen database and then clicked on the group. It'll automatically move across to group for us. And so you can see here there's group number three, which who, which we're a member of, there's the name, uh, and there are the members. There's only one person who's a member and one manager of this group. Now there are lots more tabs available. We've already seen uh, when we went through the custom headers uh, that we can change particular questions and things here. We also have the option to go through and change other areas. <coughs> So by default, for example, when it talks about these generic items, you know, projects and documents, it use the, the, these fields are blank. In other words, it's going to use the default value. So it's going to use the word project whenever it describes a project. Uh, but if you, for example, worked for a law firm, you could call it a case and that way every time that uh, that you or anybody in your organization who are all members of this one project um, uh, come in that it's going to refer instead of to the word project it's going to use the word case uh, if you may want to use the word file for uh, instead of document uh, for you for um, if you're in education instead of a group you may want to have a classroom or something like that it's entirely up to you now on each of these different items you'll see that there's a little button there that says samples. What that does is that fills up the text area with some suggestions. So if I click on samples there you can see it puts all the defaults in there so we can go and change them if we want. If you leave the inform just any particular entry blank it'll just use whatever the default is. So that way you can change one and leave the rest free if you wanted to. Now as we come down here you can see most of them are blank and yet we went and edited when we en went and edited the um, uh, that, that particular user it used all the sample data. We don't need to go and put things in here necessarily. If you put them in it'll override the defaults and only use your values. If, uh, if you leave them blank it will come up with just the <coughs> standard uh, default sample configurations. So for example if we click on here we can see uh, all of the different options those those standard default ones showing up. If you put a hyphen on its own uh, when it displays in the pop-up it will display as a horizontal dividing line. You can't choose that line. Now some of the items you will want to uh, have a a, a possible blank line uh, up the top. So for example if you wanted to have um, it so that somebody uh, was, uh, let, let's have a look at the different regions and things. 
we, we, we must have or we should have a blank line at the start. That way if the state has not yet been defined uh, or the county or the region that sort of thing then we want it to show as a blank and we want the person to have to choose the particular county or region or whatever it is. When it comes to other items uh, where we can ha choose multiple things like memberships, owners, transaction items, that sort of thing, then, then what we would want to do here is not necessarily have a blank line because w people will choose and can add multiple ones from the list. Now the transaction items are slightly different because that has to do with cash haven and it actually uses the uh, square brackets and, and the number at the end to determine uh, pricing. Uh, we'll stick mainly with the CRM haven ones here. So for example subregions, there are the different possible subregions there. Uh, we've already got uh, samples here for the, uh, for the types categories. We can choose industries. Uh, we've already got ones there for uh, for all of those items. All of them have uh, possible items we can put in and the, the only reason why you wouldn't want to click on them and choose them is if you wanted to actually go and change them and put your own data in. They're all just um, uh, return delimited items so you just keep on typing items in, put return if you wanted to insert things in and they'll appear. Now if you do uh, have people who are members of more than one group then all of the items that they have available will show up in uh, one after the other. So if somebody's a member of three uh, separate groups and they and informa and customized information has put in have been put in for those three separate groups then all of those choices will appear so therefore it's probably recommended that you give most people membership of a default group and if if you want to set the group values just for that one default group and leave the other groups to be uh, blank and that way you can control uh, what people watch overall without lots of duplications coming up so that is how we go and change the, uh, the edit group details uh, for the clients to help you uh, automatically enter the correct information in uh, for your clients. Okay, thank you and goodbye.